The NFL draft is just over a week away, and we really ramp up our coverage tonight on KTC Sports as we talk about UL and LSU football players who could be in the black and gold. Of course, the Wii Seth Lewis with us tonight for this mic'd up conversation. And Seth, let's start with the UL Raging Cajuns and a future or a current Cajun, I should say, that could end up being a future saint. Who's one player you have your eye on? Well, I think the easy pick would be Robert Hunt. He's a very impressive prospect. I agree with the you. The only on problem that. is, yeah, I, the only problem is I don't know if he's going to be there for the Saints. I think he's a little bit too much of a reach at 24 in the first round for the black and gold. And then by the time the third round pick gets there for the Saints, because they don't have a pick in the second round, I believe that he's going to be gone. So my pick is actually going to be his line mate in. Kevin Dotson, the All-American, was very impressive for the Cajuns. He was named an All-American for five publications. Him adding depth to that interior line is something that I could certainly see the Saints doing come draft week. I'm going to go with Robert Hunt. I do think there is a chance. And if he is there, I think it's a no-brainer New Orleans takes him. And there are rumors that Larry Warford could be traded out of New Orleans. Now, some would say, why would you trade a Pro Bowl left guard? He's expensive. He's costing the Saints nearly $13 million. Warford's on the final year of his contract. It's likely he's in his last year with the team if he's going to even play this season. So why not go get Robert Hunt? He played tackle this past year for the Cajuns. He stands to be a future guard. He could play tackle as well which also makes him super valuable in New Orleans. LSU has so many guys on the board. I think the obvious pick would be Joe Burrow because of his Good knowledge of the offense. But, but not let's just be honest. One. They're not drafting number one. They're not trading up to number one. So with that being said, who do you think is the perfect fit for the Tigers and the Saints to link up? Well, their first round pick, I don't think any doubt is going to be a linebacker. I really think the Saints are going to go linebacker. But I think it's going to be uh, Patrick Queen. I think Queen is a good fit. I do think the Saints would have to shuffle their linebackers around. You know, their, their hole right now is in the weak side linebacker, excuse me, the strong side linebacker. That's where their current hole, as we're going to put it, is. That's where they don't have a returning starter. And he doesn't really fit well in that realm. Um, he's undersized. He's a speedster. He can run all over the, the field. I don't know if Patrick Queen is the best fit per se, but I think Queen, if he's there at 24, I think it's a no-brainer. You take Patrick Queen, one of the best linebackers in the draft, and you just try to make it work. You figure out how to make it work because I think he's a future All-Pro, no doubt. Honestly, while Queen would be nice, I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints went wide receiver, and if that's the case and if he's still there, I really think they should take a hard look at Justin Jefferson. I mean, he was incredible with, the, with LSU's brand new offense. I almost called it the Saints offense because it was the Saints offense under Joe Brady bringing that playbook of the Saints. He knows the playbook so well you'd be able to insert him and he would be able to fit right away. Production-wise, he led the NCAA this year with 111 catches. He was second on LSU in yards and touchdowns. And in the biggest games, he made the biggest impact, breaking the Peach Bowl record in the semifinal with four touchdowns in that game. The Saints don't have an extensive history drafting LSU players, but we'll find out here in less than two weeks as we get ready for the NFL Draft. Seth, thanks for joining me tonight. Absolutely.